Welcome to ETC in the Emergency Medicine channel. Today we will be discussing about the drug vasopressin. So vasopressin is a vasopressor as the name suggests. It is a vasopressor and it is of very much use in ED in the management of shock. So basically vasopressin comes as ampules. The ampule is 1 ml ampule and it comes in a uh, 1 ml ampule each uh, ml will be like 20 units. Okay, so the 20 units of vasopressin is there in 1 ml and that constitute 1 ampule of vasopressin. So regarding this storage of vasopressin, it should be store, protected from uh, light and other thing is it should be stored uh, at a temperature of 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. So it should be ideally kept in a refrigerator in uh, our setup we are, since our temperature uh, is on a higher side, we have to keep it in a refrigerator, but we should not freeze the vasopressin. So, the drug should be kept in a refrigerator, but not freezed. So, coming to the mechanism of action of vasopressin. Vasopressin is an endogenous noradrenergic vasopressor. It stimulates the V1 receptors in vascular smooth muscle. So, it causes direct peripheral vasoconstriction increases the systemic vascular resistance and hence increases the blood pressure. It improves the cerebral and cardiac perfusion and it does not have inotropic or chronotropic effects on the heart. And also the vasopressin acts on V2 receptors in kidneys causing an antidiuretic effect. So regarding the uses of vasopressin. So vasopressin uh, up to use uh, up to Dose of 0 0.03 units per minute is uh, advised by the uh, surviving sepsis guidelines as a uh, vasopressor uh, in uh, managing septic shock. So basically, uh, according to SSG, uh, like we can use it as a second line vasopressor after norepinephrine. So according to the At the earlier stage to attain the targeted map. So basically, the use of vasopressin and uh, septic shock help us in maintaining or attaining the map and also to reduce the dose of norepinephrine. Other uses are in the management of uh, GI bleed, HRS and SIADH. The analogs of vasopressin have been used. And in conditions where terlipressin is not available, it can be used in the management of uh, HRS. So, these are the uses of vasopressin. So, vasopressin is of most use in the management of a septic shock. So, coming to the dilution and uh, infusion of uh, vasopressin. Each ampule contains 1 ml, that is 20 units. So, it is diluted to a uh, 20 ml solution. The 1 ml is diluted to a 20 ml solution. So, that 1 ml will contain 1 unit. And to set up an infusion 0 0.03 units per minute, it will be around 1.8 units per hour. That is, the infusion rate will be 1.8 ml per hour. So, since it is 20 units in 1 ml, we can dilute it to a 20 ml solution so that 1 ml will be 1 unit and for a so, uh, infusion of 0 0.03 units per minute, we will uh, require 1.8 ml per hour infusion. Coming to the adverse effects of vasopressin, diaphoresis, nausea, vomiting, headache, urticaria, arrhythmias, Mesenteric and peripheral ischemia, chest pain, myocardial infarction, and bronchoconstriction. So, because of this adverse effects, while the patient is on a prolonged vasopressin infusion, we will have to keep a check whether the patient is developing signs of peripheral ischemia like any gangrene or peripheral gangrene. And it is better always to give the infusion through a central uh, line because peripheral line, if you are giving the infusion, there is high chance of patient development features of peripheral ischemia. That is regarding the drug vasopressin, its indication, its uh, infusion, the common complications, all have been dealt with. Thank you.